and we're trying to make antimony great again. This is a <laughs> sandstone formation that's behind me, and we've got some sedimentary hosted uh, antimony, which is occurring as massive stibnite and uh, disseminated blebs of of stibnite. Uh, some of it's like oxidized crystal, to, actual stibnite to fairy crystals. Stibnite. Uh, yeah, I'll have to send you a, a video. Uh, okay. Maybe you can include a screenshot on uh, in, yeah, in the side corner of the screen or something. I could point sure. to it like it's going right here right now. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. um, We're trying to get there, dude. I mean, I'm I'm uh, poor boy in it right now. But um, honestly, that'd be great. I'll see if she'll do that. Yeah. And so uh, I'm out here. You know, there's been historic uh, antimony mining uh, since, you know, the colonial or I should say the pioneer times. Uh, the Indians were mining it. They thought it was lead. Uh, and then the pioneers came in and they would mine it whenever there was a, a surge in the price of antimony. And right now, the market's certainly going through a surge in the price of antimony. It had been 20, 30,000. It uh, it's, a, it's a metalloid. It's a semi-metal. So uh, like alloys? Alloys. I've got one of it written down. I know one of the big applications that surprised me is that it is a glass clarifier and so oh. it's a glass hardener and glass clarifier and so it's got a big demand in glass 